2010 impacts and collisions question 5a sphere of mass m speed u impinges directly on a stationary sphere of mass 3m the coefficient of restitution between the spheres is e find in terms of u and e the speed of each sphere after the collision v1 and v2 okay let's look at this first the principle of conservation of momentum is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so my mass of the first one is m the second one is 3m so m times u plus 3m is at rest times zero is equal to m v1 plus 3m v2 dividing by m i'm going to get u is equal to v1 plus v2 plus 3v2 u is equal to v1 plus 3v2 with newton's experimental law we can get another equation with v1 and v2 v1 minus v2 is equal to minus e times u1 minus u2 which is just u minus zero so v1 minus v2 is equal to minus e u so if i multiply this by three I can get rid of my V2s with this equation. So 3V1 minus 3V2 is equal to minus 3EU. And underneath I can write V1 plus 3V2 is equal to U. So I'm going to get 4V1 is equal to U minus 3EU. Or we could write 4V1 is equal to u times 1 minus 3e so v1 is equal to u times 1 minus 3e all divided by 4 for v2 i can use this equation here v2 if i bring it to the right it's going to be equal to v1 plus eu v1 plus eu so that's going to be i can separate it i'll write it like this u over 4 minus 3 eu over 4 and then we're going to add on this full eu so i have minus three quarters eu and i'm adding a full one so i'm just going to have a quarter eu and i'm going to have u over 4 so v2 is equal to this so factorize out my u's and v2 is equal to u times 1 over 4 or i can put my u over 4 on the outside it might be a bit tidier u over 4 times 1 plus eu so that's v1 and v2 in part two we're told about e is a quarter and the loss in kinetic energy okay e is a quarter the loss in kinetic energy due to the collision okay if e is equal to a quarter we can get v1 and v2 in terms of u if e is a quarter v1 is equal to u times one minus three times a quarter over four so v1 is equal to going to be u times a quarter divided by 4 which is u over 16 and v2 will be equal to u over 4 times 1 plus a quarter i have this u in here and i shouldn't 1 plus a quarter so that's five quarters by u over four so i'm going to have five on top and a 16 on the bottom so i'm going to have five u over 16 is v2 so my loss in kinetic energy let's have a look at this so kinetic energy before and then we look at kinetic energy after so the kinetic energy kinetic energy is half mv squared and v in the first case was u just double check that we had our u this u this one's at rest so we're going to have a zero so we're just going to have a half mu squared for before after it's going to be a half m by v1 squared plus a half m by v2 squared so a half times m times u over 16 
to be squared plus a half times m times 5u over 16 to be squared. 16 16s is 256, so we're going to have 512 on the bottom here, 512, and we're going to have mu squared on top. And again, we're going to have, on this one, we're going to have 512 on, on the bottom, 16 squared by 2 is 512. And we're going to have 25 mu squared on top. Okay, so that's going to be 75 mu squared here. So we're left, that looks like it's 76 mu squared over 512. And we had mu squared over 2 was the initial one, this one here. So mu squared over 2 minus 76 mu squared over 512. Well, that's going to be. Well, that would give us two oh to multiply this by to the bottom by two fifty six. So to get the bottom to get the first one over five twelve, I have to multiply the bottom by two fifty six. So I'm gonna have two fifty six m u squared minus seventy six m u squared. You could just use a calculator to simplify these fractions. Um that's gonna be one forty. Um, no, it's not going to be 140, it's 70, 50, 180 mu squared over 512. And that will simplify, I'm sure. Both of them divide by 2, 4. Yeah, I think 4 is the highest here, so we're going to get 45 mu squared. And 512 divided by 4 is 128. And nothing else goes into the two of them, so it's 45 mu squared over 128 is the loss of kinetic energy. We were also, I think we were asked the percentage loss, weren't we? So not just the loss, percentage loss in kinetic energy. So the percentage loss is going to be the loss divided by what it started at. 45 mu squared over 128 divided by, we started with mu squared over 2. And if we multiply this by 100, cancel out our mu squared, we're going to get 90 over 128 which works out to be, it's going to be, that's 190 over 128 by 100, which is 70.3%.